This video shows how to run real ear measurements with the Unity 3 measuring system. This measurement requires preconditions, such as an audiogram with threshold values of at least 500, 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz to be able to calculate a prescription target. To navigate to the real ear measurement main page, click on the REM task icon in the task list on the left side of the screen. On the main page, you find a list of previous measurements in the area measurement history. Entries listed here can be double-clicked to open in read-only mode or together with a new measurement if the box Show with Current is checked. To open the measurement window, simply click on the Real Ear Measurement button. In case you want to start with a clean and empty grid, click the New Measurement button before opening the measurement window. The Real Ear Unaided Response is selected, with Pink Noise as default test signal. The sound level is set to 65 decibel. Before you start the measurement, it is necessary to apply the probe tube with a proper length into the ear canal. The probe tube tip should end about 5 millimeters in front of the eardrum. When inserting the probe tube, be careful not to touch the eardrum. To set the tube to a proper length, you can either use a ruler or your client's ear mold. Move the marker on the probe tube to indicate the necessary length of the tube. As a rule of thumb, the marker distance from the tip of the probe tube should be 30 millimeters for adult normal-sized ears and 26 to 28 millimeters for adult small ears. For pediatric fitting, always use the ear impression to determine the necessary tube length. For insertion of the probe tube, use the probe tube holder to guide and fixate the tube into the right position, as shown in the picture. It is best to press the tube slightly from below into the notch of the circular probe holder. Then move the tube with the holder into the ear canal. After insertion of the probe tube to the correct length, the marker should be positioned right at the tragus notch at the ear canal entrance. In the following example, the view mode has been set to show gain and output of one side simultaneously. The view setting can be modified from the view panel in the toolbar. To start the measurement, simply click the play button. Initially, a room equalization will be performed. After it has been completed, the measurement will start automatically. The signal presentation stops after a predefined measuring period of 15 seconds. The real ear unaided gain curve will be displayed in the gain diagram located on the right-hand side, and the corresponding output level will be displayed on the diagram on the left-hand side. To perform a hearing instrument fitting with real ear insertion gain measurement, select the test type REIG 65dB from the test types list. Prior to the measurement, have the hearing aid programmed at least with first fit settings and make sure that the omnidirectional microphone setting is activated. The hearing aid should be switched into measurement settings if unmodulated noise signals are used for the measurement. This is to avoid that the automatic noise suppression kicking in and affecting the measurement results. In our example, the default signal used for real ear insertion gain measurement is speech noise ILTAS and the target prescription formula selected is NAL-NL2. The sound level will be set to an average loudness level of 65 dB. The combined view option shows the output level and the gain diagram of the selected side. You may alternatively use other view modes to display left and right side gain or output diagrams side by side. Before you start the analysis, make sure the probe tube is properly inserted into the client's ear. Now, carefully insert the hearing aid into your client's ear canal while the probe tube is kept still in its place. To start the measurement, click the play button. The procedure is similar to the measurement of the real ear unaided response curve. After the measurement is completed, the insertion gain curve is displayed in the grid. It probably won't match the target curves yet. 
Use the manufacturer's fitting application to adjust the hearing instrument gain to match the target. Activate the loop function to run the measurement continuously. This enables you to see what you are doing while you are adjusting the hearing aid gain settings. Then, open the On Top mode by clicking on the Top Mode icon in the View section of the toolbar. With the On Top Mode View option, you can work both software applications from one screen and easily adjust your hearing instrument setting from the fitting software while simultaneously watching the measured curves in the On Top window. For more detailed information on how to adjust gains in your fitting application, please have a look at the hearing aid's manufacturer's information. In our following example, we are going to use the Connex fitting application. While changing the individual frequency gains, watch the pins in the gain diagram in the On Top window to match it to the target curve. The previously measured curve is still displayed in the diagram until you press stop. After you press stop, the pin diagram will turn into a curve representing the new insertion gain values. The previous curve will disappear. To return to the measurement application and close the On Top window, click on the X button in the On Top window. After the gain adjustment for 65 dB input signal has been made, the hearing instrument's amplification for 50 dB and 80 dB input levels should be verified. To show the targets for 50 and 80 dB, also in the diagram, click on the target button located on the right bottom part of your screen. And select the input level section to show three target curves. Click OK to close the measurement settings window. Now, the 50 dB, 65 dB, and the 80 dB target curve are displayed. Select the test type REIG 50 dB, which has been preset for the 50 dB input signal. Click the loop button to deactivate the loop function and then the play button to start the measurement. After the measurement has been completed and stopped automatically, the 50 dB gain curve is shown close to the upper target line. The match of the target is acceptable for this example shown here, so no further adjustment is necessary. To start the 80 dB input measurement, select the test type REIG 80 dB, which has been preset to 80 dB input. Follow the same procedure as for the 50 dB input level. After the measurement has stopped automatically, the 80 dB insertion gain curve is displayed close to the lower target line. The display of the insertion gain measured with three different input levels together with the three target curves can serve as verification of your proper hearing instrument fitting. Press the Save button to store the results and the Print button to print a copy. Clicking the Close button will direct you back to the Real Ear Measurement main page.